right, so super exciting times, version 4.1, push notifications. I know you've been waiting for it. We've all been waiting for it. So how do push notifications work? Well, a couple of things to note. One is you have to have an NS Cloud account uh, in order to receive push notifications. That's the first thing. The second thing is that push notifications can be received from multiple systems, all your systems connected to NS Cloud, um, on a single mobile app. So you can have any system you have in your mobile, you can receive notifications from. Another thing to note is you can also disable notifications in the mobile uh, client as well for individual systems. So if you're inundated with bad notifications because someone's set up too many notifications, um, you can always turn them off in the mobile application. So how does it work? Um, it's actually really simple and straightforward. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to the, the rules engine. So you can get there, of course, by going to the main menu, clicking on system administration, clicking on event rules, um, or you can just click on the camera you want to set up the rule for, um, and then right click on camera rules and it'll open the camera rules. So um, you can see I've got two notifications that I've already set up. One is a soft trigger. Um, for the soft trigger, I said any camera for all users, um, do the push notification test. And then I selected the um, cool fast email icon because I don't think we have a push notification icon. Um, then underneath the do section, um, I have for which users do I want to send that to. Now for me, you can do it on role base, like administrator, um, or you can do it on individual app, uh, individual email basis for a user in your account. So you can see I've got me selected here. Uh, I can disable this and just send it to me. Um, for soft triggers, it's going to send soft trigger, uh, the event, plus the name of the, that you put in here for the soft trigger, plus the custom text that you define. Um, you don't have to use custom text. It can just straight up send a notification that motion was detected on this camera type thing. Um, but custom text allows you to define the body of the push notification uh, when you do receive it. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Um, I've got NX Mobile. Um, oh, one more thing to note. You have to use version 20.1, which is coming out with the beta, uh, the mobile application. It's only available for Android in the first release, but it will be available later on for Apple users. Um, so you'll have to get the 20.1 version of the Android mobile app in order to be able to uh, see the push notifications. So you can see here, and it may not come through really clear on the camera, but I'll try. Um, you can see here, I've got my push notifications set up. Um, let me kill my light on my camera. There we go. So no glare. So you can see here I've got my mobile notification up, or my mobile app up. Um, when I click on the uh, send a notification, push notification test button, then you're going to see a notification roll in here. Soft trigger push notification test. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, when I click on that, it's going to open up the camera that it was triggered on to the time in the archive where in that event took place. Okay, so that's the soft trigger push notification test. Another push notification test is um, motion detection. So you can see on this camera here, if I go to the uh, motion uh, settings, I've got a little motion window set up here above the uh, uh, daybed. So I'm going to move my hand in that notification area, and then you guys will see a notification come in. Clear all those. And then so it says motion on camera, and the push notification came in. And then if I click on that notification, then it's going to open up the archive and show you that event. So. Um, push notifications, oh, open it up slowly because it's in, within one minute. Push notifications um, are now implemented, they're now available. Um, test them out here in the beta and let us know your feedback, but exciting to have this new feature uh, in version 4.1.